Bowl. Oh my god, that's freaking hurt. Say, say, Bloom. Wow. <laughs> I feel like both lights are just flashing into my glasses. Hello, welcome. Uh, if you're new, if you're not, like, you know, you're here, so congratulations. Yay, yay. <laughs> I am today. Hello. <laughs> it's okay. I, I've had too much coffee. In my last video, where I made my beautiful pride bikini, which was flawless. Please watch the video. Also go to my Instagram, at CC Bloomer, mm -mm -mm, and check out that picture because I look stunning. In that video, I said that I made a bucket hat because partially just, I lost my mind a little bit. You know what I mean? That happens. I made this hat. Come on now, look at that. <laughs> and I had, to, I had to have a win because the bikini was frustrating the hell out of me. So that was the win. It was, there it was. And I figured, I was like, you know what? That turned out really well. Why don't I make another one on camera? It's not gonna necessarily be a tutorial, but I figured it's, you know, you can <laughs> watch me do it. <laughs> what I'm using for this bucket hat is some denim that I got at the clearance section in the Fabricland. And so my last bucket hat was, I used this dark side with it and I used like a nice little cute strawberry thing for the liner. For this one, you'll notice that this other side has a very nice different look to it, very light. And I thought that that would be nice to do a bucket hat for. So I'm gonna do, instead of doing it, it's not gonna be reversible. My last one was reversible. I'm just gonna do the one side to it and then I'm gonna put I'm so excited for this little dino horn. Also, um, you, you might notice that the sound is different. Yeah, uh, look, I'm still working on it. <laughs> I don't know if this mic, I need help <laughs> is what I need because this audio situation, I think I should have like a clip one, but this one, like I had, it's a great mic. It's a good mic, but I think it has to be like right next to me or else it's, it sounds wonky, you know? We're working on it. I'm working on it. The only one who cares is me, <laughs> but it bothers me so much. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm also gonna be using some grommets, which I've never done before. I love, I love just trying out new things. <laughs> sometimes it works, sometimes they don't. But the point is that we try. What did Wayne Gretzky say? You miss 100% of the shots that you don't take, okay? And I may not be good at basketball, but the metaphor sticks. That's a freaking slam dunk. Let's get to it. I'm gonna be following a tutorial, which I will link down below. It is exceptional. All of her things are exceptional. I plan on doing probably every single thing that she has on her channel because that bucket hat that I made turned out so well. And look, I love the accessibility of tutorials on YouTube. They're uh, amazing. Uh, you have just so much access, especially with sewing. But sewing can be difficult. And if you don't have like all the steps laid out for you, if you've never done something before, someone just telling you, okay, now you do this. If, if you are not seeing it like really perfectly, like step-by-step step, or like a visual aid to sew, like, you know, like you have these like pieces and you're like, okay, but how is she getting it? I don't understand. She did such an exceptional job of showing each component. And like, if you're looking to make this bucket hat, that's the tutorial. It was, incredibly easy to follow. I was so impressed. Um, and yeah, as someone who like really uses tutorials to <laughs> make my projects, uh, it's super helpful. Oh my God. Did I show my D and D bag? I, my God, this cute little for my D and D dice. I mean, you can put whatever you want in here. Exceptional. It's actually like, Oh my God. It's so pretty. I hate that I'm not doing D and D right now because this bag just sits there looking cute. And it's like, why don't you use me? We're supposed to be playing D&D, &D, but I just sit here useless. But you're holding the dice, so you're actually living your life. Don't know why you're complaining so much. God, <laughs> okay. Let's get into it. And if you like the video, you already know. Like, comment, subscribe. What are you even doing? Turn on that notification bell. 
so that you get notified every single time I make a video. It could be anything. It could be sewing. It could be painting. It could be tarot. It could be, I don't know. So a lot of things that I like to do in life and, you know, it could just be me chilling, doing nothing. I kind of want to clean my car, so this might be the boost to do that. <laughs> okay, let's get started. I wanted to go <laughs> YouTube. Wow, this is like very meta. <laughs> Bucket hat. And it's only 13 minutes. This one is harshing it. Okay, so first off um, is literally just cutting out the pieces. So I can do that real quick. I already know <laughs> what I need to do for that. And we're going to trace around. And so the pattern, which is so nice, she gives a free pattern on her um, blog, I think. And also I think it's linked on the video. I cannot speak highly enough of this woman. What you're gonna want if you're cutting, this is denim. Uh, so you probably want a more industrial strength, like sorry. Uh, you know, she doesn't have, well, I'll wait, what am I saying? She's not using denim, that's on me. <laughs> Thicker materials, you know, it, it's usually better to have a better, like a more equipped sewer. But really what you're gonna need is the right thread. So denim thread and a denim needle for the machine just a heads up this was my choice so you know you can use whatever you freaking want i just like a denim hat i just think it's cute honestly when i sew i usually have something playing in the background this one makes it so hard sometimes to to film sewing for me because i'm very quiet when i sew i don't usually talk at all <laughs> I get, well i start to get really frustrated and then i start like yelling at myself so but that's not really talking so for the headband, you need two of these. And when something says on the fold, which she will explain in her tutorial, but I can explain it right now. So on the fold means that I'm gonna cut this while the material is folded over so that when I get the material, it will fold out into the proper size. So it's gonna look like tiny ear mug. How does this connect into anything? Uh, but it'll make sense once you're done. <laughs> okay, sewing is a lot, you know, sometimes you feel like it's complicated. It is complicated. I don't know what I'm trying to say with that. <laughs> I <laughs> I have so many problems when I'm sewing, so I don't know what, who I'm trying to fool. Not myself. So yeah. It is a lot of fun though. There is just something amazing about being able to create your own shit. It's dope. <laughs> I'm excited. I also got commissioned by my friend's mom. She wants a bucket hat and so does my mom. So after this one, because this one's for me, <laughs> look, <laughs> I'm gonna go get some more material and I'm gonna go make them some bucket hats. I'm so happy people like them. They're so dope, so. Oh. <laughs> that was dangerous. I also try to make sure, um, and I would recommend this, that like when you're sewing um, and you're you know, cutting out material and stuff like that, try your best to, you know, save as much material as you can by like bringing it right to the edge of something um, because you don't want to waste it, you know? I also want to do, I should do more thrifting of my like fabrics and stuff, but it's difficult when you're trying to find the right kind of fabric for the thing that you're doing. So, you know, it is what it is. We work with what we can. Snip. We have all our pieces assembled. As a reminder, we have zipline. We have le headband. And we have uh, the circle. Now I must watch. 
and discover what is next. Yeah, okay. So, first things first. Good size just means the side that you want showing to the public. It's the mask that we all wear. And where is the Exceptional. And we'll put that on our A stitch. The harder thing with sewing on the light side is that it will show if I make any um, stitching mistakes. I like darker materials because they don't show as much. <laughs> Sit up straight, you're not doing your breasts any favors. Sit up straight, you're not doing your breasts any favors. This is the part that's fun, <laughs> I say. Oh, okay, <laughs> we're good. Sewing circles, interesting, let me just tell you. It's a weird process. I like to just put more pins than necessary for this. And yes, should you iron your material before you do this? Probably, I think it adds something. Also, don't do this. I say that for your own safety. You just literally sew along those lines. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay. Okay, amazing. And then look at this little thing, this treasure. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the grommets. I'm gonna do two on each side of the seam, so four in total. I'm using a hole puncher to punch them out. Oh God, I'm really hoping that I can do it. Yes, I can. Ah. It's not as easy as I was. Obviously it's not for this. Ooh. Okay, well you know what, that works too. Oh, I put that thing somewhere. It had the instructions. Shoot, it's got a little reflected. I see what you're saying, like that. Yeah, and then that fits right into there. And now I need a hammer. I'll be back. Ah! Okay. Oh, shit. I think it worked. Okay, oh, okay, I see what it's supposed to be doing. Okay. Oh, is this supposed to be? That's supposed to be. Fucked up. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Um, yes. I made a mistake. A little error. Just a tiny one. <laughs> so cute. Okay. <sighs> okay, so I need to be more careful. Just enough to literally get it fit. Get on me. <laughs> Rush hour two, it's a great movie. One side complete. Amazing. Oh my god, so cute. Oh my god. It's like a professional. Okay. Okay. Oh my god. Alright. The grommets are in. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Okay. So we're gonna get to the brim now. Here we go. for each of them. All right, I can, you can put pins in 
totally up to you. I'm being a little risky today. Ow. Bitch. Ow, that one got me good. Woo! So basically what I'm gonna be doing is I'm ironing this down so that it's nice and flat. You'll notice with the denim specifically. <laughs> oh my God, this is so much thicker than I was thinking it would be. Okay, so I finished sewing the lines around the brim. Next situation. So I'm just gonna pin this all together. Oh weird, it's doing something weird. I don't like that. I have a lot more like material. So I'm just doing a quick fix on it. That'll look fine. Okay, so happy you can watch me struggle. What time? Oh my God, it's almost 9.30. I need to get the frig out of my house. Oh, come on baby. And that's it. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> My dino is huge. Okay, maybe I'll just leave this with the grommets and just leave it like that. So, you know, a little puckering over here. That was, you know, my own choice. <laughs> it was a toy, <laughs> just being straight on the top. So I might leave this for another project. There it is. Once again, bucket hat complete. So there, there you go. Thank you for your service. I hope you enjoyed this video and, uh, you know, hope you taught something. Seriously, check out the tutorial below and sew yourself a freaking like a hat. If you've been hoping to do this and you're like, it's so in trend, on trend right now, I need it in my life. Well, boom, it, here it is for you. Get yourself a buck a hat. I will see you all next week. Bye. <laughs>